Hello everybody, James Reek here. It is February 1st, 2017, and I have Peter the Insider with us again. And Peter's going to go into more about um, the Super Soldier Queens as well as some information about creation, because I know a lot of people were, were asking questions, well, how did, how did the, the story of Genesis begin? And there's we have different questions pr pr related to that. In addition, we also have Ileana with us, and she is a she spent 60 years as a science officer, tech support for database security, and translator in the Secret Space Program. She's been stationed on moon on the Moon, Mars, Pluto, Uranus, Venus, Saturn, and the research vessel Emirath for 11 years. And um, thank you, Ilana, for joining us. And thank you, Peter, for joining us as well. Now, uh, I didn't give an introduction about Peter. Um, Peter works for, he's the head of Division 12 of the ACIO, which act as liaison between humans and extraterrestrials to, I guess, foster a better understanding between the different races as well as um, trying to um, soothe the um, diplomatic uh, conflicts and maybe in increase ties and relationships. So um, let's go ahead and uh, Peter, are you there? Yes. Hello to you and hello to everybody. And thank you, Peter, for joining us. Um, how are you? Mm, given all the crazy circumstances, good. Thank you for asking. Great. And thank you for joining us. And Alana, are, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, do you have any other um, comments you want me to... You want to add to that bio? No, that's pretty good. Um, in the 60 years, I did quite a lot of other things as well, but that's primary for today, the bio, yeah. Well, you don't look that old. Um, maybe you want to explain that to the audience, how you spent 60 years doing all this? and. Sure. It was 60 years in a quantum time leap, time traveling program. So I'm only 32, but I did hardcore 60 years with the spa SSP space program, uh, specifically the interplanetary corporate conglomerate. I spent a lot of time on the Mars bases and on the other planets, as you mentioned. Um, my health is that of a 60-year-old, not of a 32-year-old. Um, recently, I went to check my vision, and my new optometrist said, well, there's something unusual here. Um, I checked your vision and it's not good. Your vision is that of a person who's 60, not 32, so there's something wrong here, really wrong. So, and I just smiled and I said, yeah, I kind of thought that because I had said 60 years in the secret space program. So, you know, there's 28 years that are um, basically something's off with my body, with the chronology of my um, cellular cellular imprint. I, I'm 32 and I look young, but my health is not that of a 32 year old. It's of a 60 year old. And because of, of uh, it's because they did um, regression, age regression on me and sent me back to the point of being 10. So, you know, that's age regression, there are consequences, neurological consequences, and health risks as well as well involved to the person. So that's what um, the result is of me and my health not being so good. Wonderful. Yeah, so, well, well, thank you for sharing that. Um, it's not wonderful what they did to you, but unless no. you, unless you, um, I don't know, did, did you consent to all that? Um, was that part of the job? It, well, part it was of part of... It was partial consent because not everything that I did in the program was horrible. Some of the stuff like my job assignments I enjoyed doing. Some of the other stuff I, I did not enjoy doing like being a witness to what happens in those cybernetic labs where they take human bodies, humans, they do soul transfer into the cybernetic bodies and you have your basic cyborgs, you have your super, super soldiers and scouts so witnessing that on the Mars labs, that's horrible. That's not something I agreed to do, but you know, when you agree to go into this program, anything goes. So right. that's what basically happened. Not pleasant, but 
I was a technician and I was monitoring quality control of how the cybernetic implementation is, is done with the human body. Hey, I saw humans chained up to the walls, hanging by the ceilings, their bodies while well, their soul is taken out of their body and put in um, electric suspension animation. So that's not pretty to see. It's horrible, but that's, that was part of it. And certainly reaging technologies are nothing new, um, at least on this show, because I know Peter has talked about this in the past. Um, Peter, uh, do you have any experience in the secret space program um, or any experience being reaged? Yeah, of, co of course. It's th there is no technically no problem with doing something like that. Yeah. And uh, so, so how, how many years did you spend in the secret space program? I am not working with uh, technically with secret space pro programs, you know. I am doing I'm doing another another kind of stuff, you know. Uh, okay. But uh, but I know many details about that, you know. Right. Right. Many so, details. Many details. So, so basically, you're saying the ACIO is not even connected to any of these Nazi groups or the secret space program. Uh, I don't want to say not connected I'm telling uh, it's you know it's it's much more complicated than it should be you know okay so let's go ahead and uh, begin with some of the listeners questions and again if you have any questions you'd like to ask Peter feel free to put it in the comments section and we'll get to it in the next video um, so it looks like someone wants to know a little bit more about the Super Soldier Queens. Now, we mentioned that they were basically a hive of queens that about, what, what, about 7,000 of them, I believe you said? 7,300. That controls Super Soldiers, and they can control any Super Soldier they want, apparently. Y um, yes, that's true. Yes, that's uh, true. So, the question is, who do, who do these queens belong to? Because I know you mentioned the Nordics, but... But that doesn't necessarily yeah, mean true. it's Nordics. That's a, yeah, that's a, that's a problem that they are they are uh, they, uh, they belongs to several groups of of uh, alien races and they are doing crazy, pretty much crazy stuff, you know. Uh, they can they can technically. Uh, they can manipulate uh, tons of super soldiers just because uh, of power of her of their uh, uh, you know like uh, power of their will and uh, I think that's a, that's a problem because they were in sleeping mode but now they are uh, they were activated you know and we don't know what to do with that we 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 have real problem you know that's that's the stuff we have real problem you know all right and uh, does that mean these queens can control alana um i don't i know if she is she a super soldier can you comment on that they can control every single super soldier so every single super soldier in this in this world that's that's my answer okay can you comment on whether Alana is a super soldier yeah that's true okay Alana have, do you recall ever being controlled by one of these queens I don't remember being controlled by a queen but there was mind control through the neuro implants through the Neuralink implants that I had they could send any type of mind control they wanted in the ICC. I don't remember being controlled by a queen, but I do have battle-ready training. So I could be uh, any moment activated to, to do soldier-type things. I know that. The training is there for it. I wasn't actively doing that, but the training is there for it. Okay, so all right, back up, backing up here. So the answer to the question, which group the queens belong to, are the Nordics. Um, it appears um, that would that's the that's the that's the stuff. The most of them, yes, most of them, yes. Another one of them, they are like, you know, like 
free runners, if you want to call it that way. They have no ju jurisdiction or something like that. <laughs> you know? But it's what, about, what about Lincoln Clay? Apparently, I thought he was in charge of all this. Was he in charge of the queens? Oh, Is no, he the no, king? No, 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 no. <laughs> he's only he's responsible only for manufacturing super soldiers. That's another whole different uh, and other stuff. You know, it's completely different. Oh, so he's like a scientist. You want to say that uh, that way? Then yes. Right. Um, okay. Well. Um... So hopefully that answered your question. Um, so keep keep it coming about the queens, and we'll let's move on. Uh, someone wants to know a little bit more about Smart Dust. And Ilana, if you if you have any if you have any information you want to jump in, feel free to do so. But um, for, but for Peter, um, let's go ahead and start with you. Do you do you have any comments about that? Smart Dust, huh? I don't know where the heck they they came from to Smart Dust, but it's like you know it's crazy. Because smart dust is uh, actually very, very uh, dangerous thing. Uh, it came. It can uh, come to be self-aware. You know something like uh, AI. But uh, AI, it looks like what typical AI look like gel, like a structured gel or something like that. Yeah. Smart dust look 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 like a dust, you know, but it's not normal dust. It's you know, it's 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 uh, smart, so self-aware. That's a problem. Right. So um, there is there is nothing complete. There is nothing complicated to talk about smart dust, smart dust, or something like that. No. No. So, so the the only difference between that and the black goo is just uh, the, the the viscosity of the uh, material. If you want to say it that way, yeah, yeah, you are All right. right. You and are can right. you become yes. can you become infected by simply breathing in this smart dust? Of course, yeah. Of course, you are right. Well, well, do you think everyone on this planet has been laced with this stuff through maybe chemtrails? Uh, I don't want to say everybody, but most people, yeah. Is there a certain critical threshold that you need to be infected by in order for it to really take uh, to have to be effective? It strongly, it strongly depends from from uh, uh, from uh, uh, level of immunity of one exact uh, uh, man or woman or. How strong? Uh, how strong? I mean, like, like, uh, how technologically in man enhanced the dust is, you know? Which kind of generation we are talking about? That's the stuff. Right. And so, um, I guess so. Is, is that why? I guess some super soldiers don't have have their memories it's because the smart yeah smart most dust. most of them most of most of them not not uh, some of them most of them that's right. another. Difference and that, and that's why you want us to drink the mint tea. Apparently, that that counteracts the smart dust. Yes, you are absolutely right. Okay, but but didn't mint you recently tea get is key theme, is key stuff is key stuff. Yeah, and or and also the uh, smart food is I believe you called it that the <coughs> yeah the carrots food, yes. and the honey, <laughs> cinnamon, lemon, nuts. Um. Okay, and um, but but recently you had an attack by by one of these queens. You want, would you like to comment about that? <clears throat> it's not about only about me. It's 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 not nothing like a like a personal. It's uh, it's uh, she's mad because uh, we revealed uh, her identity that she's working with. Uh, with Nordics and Nazis and, and and she's mad about me and about the organization and she's causing us a lot of lots of trouble troubles you know it's like but whatever we will deal with that <laughs> aren't there like beings out there uh, watching over humanity that can protect us I mean why are they allowing this to happen mm, I don't know that's that's a good question from my point of view what about like the numbers group? 
Aren't they on our side apparently now that what Semayasi is Yeah, has they are, but yeah, they are, but they they don't want to be involved in that. Do you know what I mean? And that's a problem. Um. All right. So, uh, hopefully, we answered uh, your question about smart dust. And I guess Peter, Peter or Alana, did you want to comment any further about that? Well, there's also not just black goo. There's also green goo. And go crazy. So there's two types of goos, from what I've been studying and learning. And they demonstrated what green goo can do in the show Killjoys. Because it's in your bloodstream, it's in your veins, so it can control your mind, the green goo, and make you like a super soldier. From what I was seeing in that show, so that's a bit of a disclosure there. With the green goo, it makes you psychotic. Yes, <clears throat> you are absolutely right, but there is technically tons of types of goos. There is not only mm -hmm. there is not only black as, as bad and uh, white as a good goo. There are practically every single uh, uh, you know like colors uh, type of different types of colors of goose and uh, and the viscosities and uh, you know like densities of goose and uh, <clears throat> because of these three uh, basic characteristics there are tons of uh, tons of uh, types of of uh, goo of goose uh, uh, they are differing these three character characteristics are differing them oh for <clears throat> for uh, many type of stuff they can do with uh, uh, people respectively with super soldiers it doesn't matter so uh, talking only about these two or three types of goo it's not so accurate not so good it's only part of the truth, very small, very tiny part of, of truth. But and yes, must, you are right. It must also apply to smart dust as well, many different types. Yes, but uh, yes, you are right. Uh, green goo can make you crazy in a, psi in a psycho way. It is love. Uh, maybe we, we, we will make special show about Umbrella Corporation. And what was going in Chile, in South America, you know, uh, thousands, hundreds of thousands of acres uh, of bushes, you know, burned out, and the city of big city of Valparaiso burned out, you know, and they uh, there is like a huge underground base of Umbrella Corporation, and they are due. Uh, crazy crazy weapons like uh, chemical biological biochemical weapons there technique like in in uh, uh, movie and uh, and video game series Resident Evil so inspired by by uh, true story and very close to the actual truth yeah that's the that's sure. Right, and that story certainly can be confirmed in the news. Apparently, about five hundred thousand acres have been been burning in Chile, and um, what? So, what is the size of that that base that was destroyed? The Umbrella Corporation base. That's that's the problem. Base. That's the, that's the problem. That there was huge fires, but base itself wasn't destroyed <laughs> because base it's has such a good you know like uh, types of uh, of uh, uh, you know uh, like uh, anti anti uh, firing systems and all kind of stuff that uh, there is practically no damage and they are mad about that <laughs> so because, so because who, the okay. whole stuff because the whole staff, whole staff, go to local authorities and uh, it's it's local media. It's everywhere. It's in local media everywhere that ah, we've got something. We've got something here. Uh, uh, what 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 Americans have? 
<laughs> they they ran ran it uh, they ran it like for uh, I don't know how many years. It's it's crazy, you know. <laughs> so so you're suggesting the Chilean government did, had no, no knowledge that this huge base existed? Absolutely, absolutely. They've got, they've got no goddamn clue about the existence, right? And the uh, the U.S. government also, because Umbrella Corporation, um, Umbrella is private corporation. So what do they do? Do they just teleport this huge base from another parallel, what do you, a, free, a time freezing zone like the Nazis do with their bases? If you want to say that way, yes. They, that's so, technically that's what they technically technically are capable of of doing. Yeah. So so this base could have been uh, put there very recently. Theoretically. No 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 you, no, no, you no. I'm, I'm I'm telling you I'm telling you the base was there for many years for decades, right? Right. Okay. But I don't and, know oh. uh, but I don't know but I don't know what was uh, inside there. I don't and do know. you know what what caused the fires? Like what what project once again, once again, they wanna they wanna destroy the traces, <laughs> the traces of their of their research, right? Because so they were they they were developing the biochemical weapons, you know. So maybe one of their zombie um, apocalypse viruses might have escaped in the base, and if you wanna say that, way, yeah, yeah. You, um, did you heard about chupacabra? Chupacabra. Yeah, they're they're apparently yeah, they, so, they look like a ra a giant rat, but like a dog. Yeah, but that's the that's the stuff. It's a uh, it's part of their research of umbrella research in uh, South America. Chupacabra. Okay, Ilana, would you want to comment about any of this or ask Peter any questions? Well, the chupacabra, I can comment, it drains your plasma and drains some of your blood source so it could stay alive. If, you know, if it escapes a base, it starts, starts going around and it needs blood and it needs plasma to survive. So that's what it does. It goes around, suck, suck, suck. And, uh, you know, they try to catch it as much as it, they can, but it's damn fast and it's damn ugly. So if people see it, they're like, what the heck is that thing running around? So they do have patrols out looking for these things to, to recapture them because people can't see them. They're not supposed to see mm -hmm. these things running around. Yeah, don't th you are absolutely don't they have right. Fang you are don't they have things that are hollow that drain blood like a straw? Is anyone, is that tr can, can anyone confirm that? Not that, yeah, not that's that it really stuff matters. That I, I, I don't really want to see one anyway or <laughs> keep one as a pet. I'm just, I'm just telling you many, many crazy, many crazy uh, 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 creatures and beings. They, they created many crazy mm. creatures and beings. And especially with the virus called the Ouroboros, you know. That's the zombie virus. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, uh, and the... Uh, I don't know mutation C four C C five. I don't know mutation type. Yeah, it's crazy. It, it, it can it can make from one man like a incredible Hulk. You know, crazy like big total total something total crazy like big man, very mask muscular, total aggressive. You know, want to damage. To, to ease the rage, rage of nothing, I mean, for no particular reason, you know? <laughs> it's crazy, well, you know? Yeah, I, I um, saw so one of them, I, I saw one of them, I saw one of them. What? Saw one of what? The, these, these, if you want to call them that way, like... These creatures? These, these, you know, beings, these, because they were not normal people. He looks literally like Hulk. He wasn't. He well, wasn't green. No, of course not. But he was like, um, you know, like gray, grayish, something like that. His skin, you know, and he was huge, you know, and he he, he smashed tanks. I mean, Panzers. He can smash, and you know, it was crazy, you know. 
wow. and he ca right. uh, they and they captured they captured them with uh, four or five uh, C fives. I mean, uh, these huge, you know, cargo ships. You know, <laughs> it was it was total crazy. You know. And they hmm. they used some hu some some huge injection, a uh, shoot from jet fighter as a rocket. <laughs> and when I, I make, saw that, that was, whole... I, when I saw that, when I saw that, because I saw that in my own eyes, and I was like, "What the heck is going on here?" <laughs> Something went went terribly out of out of control, guys. <laughs> it was crazy, you know. <laughs> And it was just one one person that that the jet fighter. Yeah, was yeah, one okay, one person, one. one person who who can do all all kind of crazy stuff, you know. So so could they take someone like Ilana and shoot shoot her up with that um, serum, and and she could become like that, essentially. Do they have yes, the technology to do not that? Only, not only her, not only her. They can they can target practically uh, everyone, you know. And what is the name of that project with this Hulk type creature? Do you have any information uh, on that? There, no, there is not about, sorry, it's not about a, a, a project, it's about the product, the outcome. Yeah? But if you, if you want, okay, that's no problem. Uh, it's Ne uh, next best, next generation experimental battlefield su su superiority, you know? Next best, that's the code name? Next best, yeah. Next generation, uh, next generation experimental battlefield superiority, yeah. Okay, and um, what do they call these, these these cybernetic beings. I'm assuming. I'm assuming they're cybernetic. No, 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 no. no. The, they the are. Gray. They are not c c cybernetic. That's the stuff. Biochemical weapon. You need to concern that. Biochemical weapon. Not AI. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Th this type of weapon will be not uh, effective to AI. AI beings. No, 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 no. Well, let's just say someone from DARPA is watching this, and and um, do they have access to technology like this? Of course, yeah, because DARPA is uh, uh, responsible for all kind of uh, black ops projects. Wow, it's like well, contact uh, organization. It's like contact organization between all of these these uh, 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 corporations private corporations and DOD Department of Defense you know it's like official uh, uh, DOD budget uh, year uh, per one year is like 700 800 uh, uh, billions of dollars right but the real one is from four to six times larger it's crazy you know crazy numbers and that's that's one of uh, one of things uh, new elected president Trump want to save a lot of uh, what a lot of money you know, and that's 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 the reason why these corporations are so mad that he is president. Right. Well. Well. Maybe they could uh, do what the ACIO does: go to other parallel realities, gather technology, and sell it. Yep. I think that I think that it will be an an alternative for them. Yeah. 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 And they they can maybe cut back on some of the uh, the drug trafficking now that I guess the wall is going up. Apparently. Um. All right. Well, Ilana, you want to comment? Do you have any questions about about next best or or these beans? Well, I can comment about the assassins that came to visit me, and they're they they are genetically modified. And the origin is Mars, ICC, their genetic labs and what they're doing. Uh, one was a reptilian human hybrid. She was eight feet, 8.5 feet tall. Looked like a cross on the head between a reptilian and the rest of the face and body humanoid. And she energetically attacked me and tried to uh, cause me to have an aneurysm. And the other one was a uh, tall Nordic white. He was about nine feet tall. Had eyes that of a cobra. He was a cobra class. 
assassin, he can just put in poison into you and uh, paralyze you. So uh, I've had visitors that are genetically augmented, augmented and genetically modified. So, and they're from Mars and they have their own genetic lab modifications that they do. They splice ET DNA, alien DNA with human and hybridize you. So they have their own class of assassins, genetically modified assassins that uh, are cloaked and sent down here in drop ships or beam ships. You know, they need to take someone out. The hit is put on you and they try to kill you. So I've had, I've had experiences with uh, encounters with genetically modified augmented beings. That's my experience. Right. Uh -huh. And you've also... You've also uh, said that somebody um, asked if you wanted to be injected with some kind of serum that would cause you to shape shift into a, a, what was it a reptilian? Do you remember that story? Mm. You said that they wanted you to, to um, uh, be a translator, well, they or did. well, no, that that's different. Um, I was injected various serums on um, in the, when I was in the ICC and they changed me genetically like my skin color, my height, body mass, you know they could change, they can give you any type of serum to change you into anything they want you to look like. It wasn't reptilian, it was some other other being, I don't remember what it was but I didn't like it and I said look if you're gonna change me into anything it better damn look humanoid at least I don't want to look like anything that's not humanoid species of ET. So I only agreed to, to be changed into humanoid. I had blue skin. One time when I went into one of these uh, confederation meetings for translation, I had blue skin. I had white blonde hair and I was about 14 feet tall. And I had stripes here. I had stripes on my face. So um, I would only agree to anything that looks human. Anything other than more than two arms, two legs, and more than one head, no thank you. I drew the line at that. I would only agree to look humanoid species. You can change my skin color, you can change my hair, my height, my, you know, my body chemistry, but I want to still look humanoid. That was where I drew the line. Smart, with smart move, missions like smart that. move, smart move, <laughs> good choice. <laughs> And I, yeah. I want to mention I want to mention something about um, something that that happened with, through a remote viewing session in, into the future where I was exploring um, how perhaps super soldiers are going to become a little bit more mainstream. And in this particular um, visualization, I was on a, a very prominent newscast, and um, they were interviewing me. And then I shot myself up with some vials of this green goo. And immediately I, I turned into a super soldier, so um, I'm not really quite sure what what that what's that about. But I, I guess apparently this this information will be going mainstream more um, apparently. So um, yeah, I guess uh, hopefully they'll be able to use that green goo to help heal the planet, because uh, or or whatever. Oh, I, I guess it makes people go crazy. So I hopefully <laughs> maybe it was a different type of green goo. I I don't recall if I went crazy in that experience, but. Um, anyway, uh, so moving on here, um, I, is everybody satisfied that we covered this topic in the Chilean base? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, about the Chilean, Chilean base. Um, did, did the authorities find um, traces of an underground base in the fires in the disaster? I'm telling you, they, they, uh, uh, they, they discovered that and they, they are like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> you know. <laughs> All right. Right, and it's not like that's um, crazy. Yeah, I mean, who are you gonna call when that happens? You know, <laughs> call the ACIO, I suppose. Um, all right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Who you wanna call? So, Ghostbusters. <laughs> okay, so uh, Peter, do you know what, the eighties show Ghostbusters? <laughs> yeah, yeah, certainly. Yeah. So okay. It's it was it was funny. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Peter. Um, what? What can you tell us about when disclosure happens, making all weapons across the world due to the consciousness shift and all the weapons tech underground involving the SS programs become useless, not able to use? Um, disclosure that, of what? That's my question. Yeah, I know. 
it's kind of hard to, to understand what they're saying here. The question is a bit run I don't on. No, it's like a disclosure of what? Uh, I suppose maybe all the ET agenda, but but that's already been disclosed. People know they're just not not a lot of people poo poo it and don't want to believe it. They don't want to investigate. Um, maybe I guess they expect whenever maybe Donald Trump say, oh, by the way, aliens exist, or or, or it might not be Donald Trump, maybe another another president. I suppose that's the disclosure. I think the United States will probably be one of the last countries to admit. It. We'll probably hear it from Putin or, or if he's still around or you know yeah, or some that's other. Yeah, that's the that's the problem. The I, I totally don't know. I totally don't know. Uh, in every single country uh, in the world, you can talk, uh, talk absolutely for free about uh, and and no punishment about uh, you know like uh, aliens and all kind of stuff and. When you are in U.S., you you are in U.S. It's it's problem. Right. Okay. Well, so there's there's your answer. We don't know that we don't really know the future. We could just see certain permutations, but not necessarily exact timeline because of free will. Um. All right. Moving on here. Do you are you aware of Zora from Inner Earth? <sighs> She's uh, some. Um, high le highly leveled, you know, highly skilled uh, being, and she's like you know um, uh, from old souls, if you want to say that way, old souls. Okay, I, I believe I, I believe this is actually a male, um, but may, may, maybe you know I don't I don't I don't judge she, whatever. That's the problem that uh, this entity don't have. Uh, any kind of normal gender, but for us in ACO, um, she it appears as a woman, right? Uh, she's like uh, she's small, she's like I don't know, like five, two, five, three, something like that, and and she looks like Hispanic, something like that, you know. And uh, she, she she can speak like I don't know how many thousands of languages, and uh, it's not good because to to be in contact with her because uh, she wants to talk to you and uh, uh, she overloads you with with information, you know. Uh, that's uh, how can I say that uh, she want she just want to communicate and you are not able to to get through it you know and um, this uh, uh, characteristic uh, gets to umbrella umbrella corporation right and they misused it to create Evelyn this young uh, child she she's like 10. 12 I don't know and uh, she is a mental part of Ouroboros right uh, be, uh, and I wanna to mention that mention that because there is like another game uh, a video game re recently released Resident Evil 7 Biohazard right and Evelyn she she she's like a, a character in this video game but she's real deal that's a, another part of problem you know so once she's in your mind, hmm, you get nuts. It's only a matter of time. Uh, so Zora from Inner Earth is in this game, this new Resident Evil game. No, no, no. I'm I'm saying you that uh, Zora uh, is overloading people's mind information. You know because she wanted to talk, but she is much more mentally. She is much more advanced. You know, and she cannot low uh, and low her mental stuff. You know, and uh, once once uh, 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 once uh, Umbrella get to this fact, they misused that to create mental virus. Not only physical virus, but mental virus. You know? uh, but they, they they came to to some 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 outcome that okay, but we cannot do that with adults. We need children, and they waste wasted. It's it's their you know terminology. They uh, 
wasted tons of children. I don't know how many thousands, maybe tens of thousands. Uh, and the children were not uh, committed suicide, no crazy stuff. And uh, they have one, of course, she is not the first, you know, but uh, she, she is first, but not only one, I mean, like that. But the problem is, uh, she stopped aging, she's like 12, something like that, 10 or 12, I don't know. And uh, she is like, uh, like, you know, like pattern for their mental virus. Because Euroboros is not only about mutation, about physical mutation, but mutation too, you know? It's crazy. I saw many people. I saw many people suffering with uh, hallucination and hallucinations and all kind of stuff. And you can get get people nuts. You know, like uh, children being in pre-puberty age. You know, and you know they they act crazy. And uh, she's in your mind, in your visions, and she gets you nuts. You know. As as children can as children can can do that very easy, <laughs> you know. Right. So um, that's 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 about that's about Zora from my side. Okay. Is is anybody here any feedback or distortions in the audio? No. Is why? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's uh, it's probably my Bluetooth um set. So um I hope um. As long as we, everybody can hear it, okay. Actually, let me, let me just test something real quick. Um, you know, I, I'm worried I might mess up the recording. Uh, I think I think we're okay. It's just uh, I just want to just make sure we're we're good on that. So, um, all right. Um, thank you, Peter, for sharing that with us. And um, moving on here, uh, Peter, can you share something with us about floating cities around the world? And civilizations living on Antarctica, I presume there are not only Nazis there. And we can also bring Ilana into this mix because I know she wants to talk a little about that. But, but Peter, starting with you, what, what can you tell us about these floating cities? They are bleed truths of uh, bleed truths of from from another realities and dimensions. That's very easy answer to this quite complicated. Okay, because some people suggest that they are, uh, w when these floating cities appear, that they will be basic, they are going to be empty, and anybody can enter these, these cities and get healed because there will be technologies in there, re-aging technologies apparently, healing technologies, um, and, the, and the government won't be able to stop anybody, um, won't be able to stop these people, people from entering these, these cities. Um, do, you, do you have a comment I about that? I, I don't think so because these cities are fully habitated or normally habitated, you know. But uh, people, people, I mean, inhabitants of them, inhabitants of them, they're not violent. So they will help you if you ask them politely. They will right. help you, you know. And do they, will they appear human? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I was in such cities for many times, and there was no problem with communication, no kind of stuff. Right. Right. Um, uh, so, so when do you think these cities? I guess some people have already started to see them, but wh when would they start to materialize in the physical plane, where we can actually enter them? It's a of time, few years. Okay. Few like well, what is years like? Three, four years, something like that. All right. Five and at the most. Five at the most. All right. And um, Alana, would you like to comment about that, or would you, would you want to go into your Antarctica material? I can comment about the cities, yes, some of them are crystalline cities, and if you have a need for healing, or if you have a need for a break from this reality, you can energetically find the city, even though it's cloaked, 
if there's a need, you can find the city and enter through the, um, the portal and go into the city and get the healing or just take a break. It's like taking a vacation in one of these crystal cities, taking a break from the heavier density reality and going into a lighter density vibration frequency. And there are citizens there. There, there's, um, there's homes, there's shops, there's all kinds of stuff there in those cities. And the inhabitants are mostly very nice and welcoming. You know, as long as you don't do anything bad, you don't disrupt their way of life. They're very welcome. There's healing technology there. So that's what I can comment about the cities from my own experience. If you need it, it's there and you can find it. Um, in terms of Antarctica, there's a lot of different stuff going on there. There's the Atlantean outposts. There's like four to ten of them that I was able to map out. There's the whole stuff with the ICC, the Dark Fleet, and the Nazis going on there. From what I can tell, there's also an Earth Alliance, an SSP base now on there too, where, where the old Nazi base used to be in Nishwabland or Queensland. So something has changed. Because when I mapped what's in Antarctica, I did not find the, um, I found some ICC bases, but I did not find a main German base in Queensland, where there used to be one. I found one on the other side of Antarctica, which is a Nazi ICC cross space, so they share space. So that was weird for me, because everybody's like, well, you did wrong. You did the mapping wrong. There's supposed to be a huge Nazi base in Nishwabland. And what I was seeing there is now an Earth Alliance SSP base, huge base there. But, uh, small but, but uh, as I can see your map, because you sent me a picture, your map, mm -hmm. is, a your map is accurate. Well, let's I don't let's know do a wrong. screen share. Yeah, let's, let's, let's share screens. And by, by the way, Peter, is um, Alana's um, video out of sync, or, or is, is, is she on your end? I'm just telling that I'm just telling that that uh, we cannot sc uh, make screen sharing because uh, because uh, we are in group call. But I'm I don't know well, what's wrong. I because because well, I am I just I'm did seeing it. I I am seeing the stuff you know. And no, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're uh, uh, on the picture and your mapping is accurate. I don't know what's wrong. And who who tell tell this to you? I mean, yeah, your, it, your it, mapping is good. What's wrong? Huh? Well, I put it up in the Secret Space Program on Facebook. There's this whole um, group of us. Secret Space Program, and one of the ladies said that's all wrong. According to history, the the um, the Queensland in up the upper part of Antarctica, um, there there should be a huge uh, Nazi base there, and instead there's an Earth Alliance SSP base in that location, and not a Nazi one. Because Admiral Byrd engaged uh, New Schwabland with uh, but that's the, the that's the stuff. But that's the stuff. Yeah, there is. But they are very close to help me to each other. They are very close to each other. Uh, SSP and Nazi base. They are. Yeah. They are close to each other. But another points, dots, and all kind of stuff. They are like like accurate. I don't know what's wrong. Yeah, she uh, the the thing with her was she's like, why didn't you uh, label it as a Nazi base? Well, I did <laughs> label an ICC base, and the Nazi, the prominent Nazi base, is at the bottom actually of Antarctica. I know so, that Nazi you are ICC. right. I know that you are right, but many, but that's the problem that people don't know that, or or uh, no, they know that. But they don't want to reveal that. That's a that's just a little bit different. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, so I, I just mapped it as I see it right now, not as it was in Admiral Byrd's time. So maybe some things have changed, and the ICC bases are there, and it's on the map of uh, where Queensland is. There is an ICC base on the lower part of it. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just telling you, because you showed me another maps from Moon, from Mars, I think, and yes. your maps, your maps were accurate. So I don't know what the heck is going on here, there. Well, you know what? I mean, your mapping is legit. It's, it's it's accurate. So I don't know what the heck is wrong. Tell me what's wrong. Um, uh, maybe, maybe you know, you you. Uh, you just, uh, you know, uh, did some some crazy stuff to people who don't want to be revealed. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. She, this lady. Uh, yeah, she said that she had actually been in a secret in the 1980s and saw the um, the Nazi base marked on the map in Queensland, Antarctica, and she's like, why didn't you put that on your map? I said, well, I did put an ICC base there. I didn't label it as Nazi because I didn't see a heavy concentration of Nazis in that base. I saw a heavy concentration of Nazis in another base on the bottom of Antarctica. That's why I labeled it Nazi slash ICC base. What is the black volume? Oh, you are, you are absolutely... Um, a bunch of information that they took from all the libraries that were burnt down, like Alexandria um, and other libraries, and they put and it up I there. I need to ask Antarctica. you something. I need to ask you something. What do you? What can you tell me about uh, Warehouse Thirteen? No, 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 no. There is like not the Warehouse Thirteen. There is Warehouse. I don't know. Fifteen, sixteen. I don't know. Uh, there was a TV show Warehouse Thirteen that uh, that uh, there were like items they can destroy the world and the most dangerous uh, 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 items uh, they're they're locked uh, in 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 black vault I don't know if you if you saw the the TV show and yes. uh, and uh, this black vault is so crazy i mean the items in black vault it's so they are so crazy that uh, they moved uh, uh black vault out of warehouse 13 and put it uh, into antarctica I, I just want to mention that because i know i know what i am talking about it's 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 crazy and um, i'm i'm happy that i that you do what you do because it's good work to map this stuff. It's good work. Well, one of, uh, I noticed there's about 52 of these black vaults are all over the United States alone, underground. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, and I mentioned it on my website when the first time I did remote viewing, I said there's 52 black vaults. I wrote a PDF document about it. So is but this it's, is largest it's, one in the world. This is largest one in the world. This in Antarctica, you know. It is, it is, and it's, it's, they have all kinds of gadgets there, but they have a lot of the books as well from all the libraries, like Alexandria. When that library was burned down, they moved, they moved half of that, um, library to... Uh, no, you are not, you are not right. Before, oh, before they, it would, it uh, was burned, burned down. <laughs> they, okay. they moved that. Sorry. Sorry, yeah, before it was burnt down, they moved half of it. They didn't trust the Vatican with the whole library collection. They moved half of it to Antarctica because there's very Wait, sensitive stuff. Are you kidding me? Who will trust no. the Vatican? <laughs> Who will trust well, the Vatican? Well, the Vatican. <laughs> no, yeah, but the Vatican. Who will has... trust the Vatican? Tell me. It's, it's crazy. Who will trust it? But trust some them. of these. Secret societies didn't trust the Vatican. The Vatican has some of the collection from Alexandria, but the bulk of it, that's in Antarctica in that black vault. Yeah, I'm just telling. I'm just telling. Nobody uh, is, is even trying to, to, to uh, 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 trust the Vatican. It's, it's, it's crazy, you know, the, the, the Catholic Church is a crazy organization, and you know that. Yeah, and they're one of the secret organizations that has some of the stuff. So, oh, of um, yeah, the vault in Antarctica, it's impenetrable. There's also one on Saturn, I believe. Yes. 
or hidden in cavities of moons as well. So they, they, they've got them stashed all over, not just on this planet. Finally, somebody who is telling normal stuff, credible, you know, valuable. <laughs> yeah. Because because okay. so many, so many people are trying, I know, I mean it for real, so many people are legit, you know, and they are telling crazy stuff to people, and Elena telling real normal, normal stuff. Alana, can you please answer this question, because I know you, oh wait, actually you, you had this question about the underground testing facility under an ice, ice shelf, so you want to know how there could be an underground testing facility there and I guess um, can you explain the issue what what would be the issue of having a, a facility right underneath the ice shelf other than the fact that a glacier could just rip it apart well no. for me yeah that, that was the question asked of me like when I put up that map how can there be a underground facility under an ice shelf that's not possible It can. Be. That's in Antarctica. It can be. So maybe they have some because, kind of force because fields. They can, because they can materialize uh, stuff, also called uber concrete. You know, it's like uh, it's like uh, special concrete from German language, and uh, they have energetic field. Uh, protecting them. Do you know what I mean? Right. Okay, moving on here. Um, so, you were asking, do the ICC groups use phaser laser weapons on Mars and how does this technology work? I think the answer is yes, most likely. Um, but maybe, is that is that the primary? Do you have information about that, uh, Peter, about the weapons they use on Mars? through the ICC groups? I don't know which question we are talking about. I don't have nothing like that. Uh, about phaser laser weapons on Mars? Um, well, uh, Ilana, what, what, what was your specific question about that? Why don't you jump well, in Well, you there? know, yeah, like in Star Trek, right? If you've seen Star Trek, they use phaser and laser rifles where particle beams come out from the rifles. And there's three, there's three settings. Then there's the stun, there's the wound, and there's the kill setting. Um, and I know that the Army and Navy are working on some of these types of laser technologies on their uh, tanks and battleships in, in, um, out in sea. The ICC on Mars, they use like phasers and sidearms, smaller sidearm guns that have this uh, laser particle beam technology, three settings, stun, um, wound, and kill. Like, have you heard anything about that kind of a uh, technology on Mars? Weapons like that being used, Peter? Yeah, but I don't know. We need to make some more solid order, you know? And this is not order, because we need to get from one till the end. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. Well, shall we, shall we go ahead and skip that question and move on? No, I'm telling that we should make some solid order. From one till the end. From first till, till very last. And this is nothing like that. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Well, well. Some sometimes. The why way did it, why why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Um, are because you me? because it is confusing me. Yes, it is confusing me. Um, I don't like that. I don't like yeah, that. The, well, the questions were submitted by uh, Alana, and I I added it in there at the last moment, so that it wasn't organized that way. But um, okay. So so we could skip that question. Um. So next one is: Are there four eleven? Oh wait. Well, I what? believe you're, you're you're asking about are there four to no, eleven? I am talking outposts? about I am talking about we about from eight till fifteen or sixteen or something. Yeah, like well, that. we're gonna we're, we're just gonna finish wrapping up about Antarctica before going back. Otherwise, Why? we're 
because we're going to be jumping around. We're already on the topic of Antarctica. There's no reason to if start confusing you, if you the audience. To, if you want to do it that way, okay, no mm -hmm. problem. Yeah, yeah. So, um, the question is: Are there four to eleven Atlantean outposts? I, I'm just, I just want to tell, I just want to tell Antarctica. about the Mars that yes, I just want to to, to to tell about the Mars. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true that uh, they are using such type of uh, weapons on Mars, but not only in Mars. It's it's technically a shitty question because they are using it in uh, on Earth too. Probably through mm. DARPA. Okay. And their skunk works. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I've got I've got such a, such a weapon too. It looks like forty five ACP. Something like that. H H K H K uh, M K twenty three. Something like that. Why the big weapon? You know, big boy gun. As I like to, as I like to say that. <laughs> Does it pop out of your your wrists? Yeah. <laughs> big boy gun. Yeah. <laughs> it really it pops out of your arms. Yeah. It's big boy gun. As a yeah, I I I like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you have any other yeah. weapons that pop out of your body? Yeah. Maybe swords? Do you have any swords that come out of your back? Yeah. Why? But that's only when you're you're a super soldier. Unless you're yeah, one right now. That's are you true. are you that's one true. right now? Are you no. activated? Okay. Nope. Alright. Um, so shall we continue on? Yes. Yeah, it's it's just I just wanted to mention because when I was on the Mars bases, laser beam weapons like rifles and sidearms, I didn't use rail guns. So it's just these these uh, laser weapons are quieter and easier to use. So I thought I'd ask. Um. So. Are there four to eleven Atlantean outposts in Antarctica with shipbuilding facilities and genetic labs that are still functional? So I don't Atlant know. I, I don't. I don't know why they should be not functional. I don't know why. Well, maybe are they occupied? Are there people? From no, Atlantis? they are still normally working. They are still normally working. So these colonies from Atlantis are still in existence. Yep. And is that in our reality, or is it another space-time dimension? Uh, that's the problem. <laughs> that uh, our reality is uh, uh, very often, uh, you, you know, like uh, bleeding through another one, and another realities are bleeding through our reality. It's a problem, you know. Okay, so the question is, is kinda. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, what type of advanced technology exists in the Atlantean outpost in Antarctica? And how does the secret space program use this technology? Do you have any ideas? What do you mean what by what kind of technology? All kind yeah. of technology, all Ilana, kind of technology. You want to jump in? Up. That was your question. Uh, yeah, it's it's a technology like those chairs that you can communicate with. You can sit in the chair and you can telepathically communicate with another person through a holographic. Um, interface. But you mean, trip you mean trip seats? You mean trip seats? They are fucking trip yes, seats. Yes. Yes. The brain yes. cleaner. This is not. This is not. This is not normal. This is. This, they are fucking trip seats. Fuck them all. Who who uh, who invent those trip seats? They will. They will destroy your life. Your your mind. They will. They they will tear your. Your your uh, uh, it's not good uh, good tech to have. Yes, that's something they have on those Atlantean outposts that I saw when I was with the SSP there. Also, supercomputers and cryogenic pods, stuff like that. Um, are you aware of anything like that out there? I'm telling you, it's it's crazy. Have you been there, Peter? Yeah. I'm telling you because of that personal experience. Because they are doing crazy stuff to people there. It's not about holographic blah. It's blah 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 random bullshit. You know, they are fucking with your mind. I mean it literally. 
I don't want to watch my language because they are doing crazy stuff to people. Pretending that you can communicate even with uh, uh, dead uh, members of your family and all kind of stuff and everything, everything of this is one big ass bullshit. You know? They are seriously, one serious mindfuckers, you know? So people that channel and they will, or and they, will and, and they will they will enslave you because of that. So you're you're suggesting that people that do a lot of channeling are might actually talking to these Atlanteans on these bases in Antarctica? No, I'm telling that people who physically are there in these bases and they physically sitting in these strip seats, that they will go nuts, totally nuts. Well, you would think you know the Atlanteans would have a. Yeah, and that's... They would have more advanced technology so they could figure out the troubleshooting by now, you would have thought. <laughs> no! They don't want to tr make troubleshooting. They, they, they want to misuse their, their, you know, uh, how can I say that? Uh, their uh, monopole on that, on, on technology, you know? When you say they want to misuse, can you can you explain who they are? They, the Atlanteans. All kind of all kind of races living in uh, Antarctica. Yeah. So these other races want what what uh, the ICC they, they to misuse want, the technology. They, they 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 are in coalition. You know, they have they have their own kind of interests. Their their kind of interests. You know. Because they Nordics are there involved, and once Nordics are, are involved in something, ah, yeah, it's turned bad, very bad. Um, Ilana, you want to throw anything else on that on that before we move on? Yeah, I, when I was there, I remember studying these uh, Neuralink chairs, and some of them looked like stone, crystal. There's different kinds of. And there's um, Neuralink chairs like the trip seats, what Peter was saying, that it's, it's man-made technology. It's, it's what they create in the bases. So there's different types of these chairs. So, and I had to study them and catalog everything into a database while I was there. What I saw, what um, the energy around these chairs and stuff. So that was very interesting to me. And that was specifically the the crystal chairs were specifically in the Atlantean um, outposts and the healing pods like huge it looks like a um, looks like a stone huge stone square uh, grid you step in and into it and there's kind of energy around it and it could heal you or it could make you worse too depending what you program into it so that's what I saw in these Atlantean outposts. Hmm. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and move on here. Um, I'm going to go back to where we um, jumped off right before we went to Antarctica, Peter, number seven. Uh, so Deborah would like to know, I have a missing daughter since November 23rd, I can, 2007. I cannot help you. <clears throat> I cannot you help you. I don't, I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. I cannot help you. Yeah. I, I, I think people maybe m misunderstand that. They, maybe they think you're some kind of clairvoyant or something and it's it's not that way you actually have a database you need to look their name up they need to schedule a session which and I, I and I cannot help you if if they are still alive or something like that I cannot help you no uh -uh. like if they're being held in an underground base or maybe being turned into uh, a cyborg yes with, yes with that with that I can help you but I but I can help if she's alive or not I can only tell she's missing or something like that but Nothing mm -hmm. else. So maybe, um, b but the list right now is closed for it to. No, to no, no. I, I will definitely yes. I will not work it, work it anymore. Okay. All right. So Deborah, go ahead and send us an email, and I'll add you to the list. Uh, we'll make an exception for you, but um, I ask the other listeners. No, do not start definitely swapping not. Me. Definitely not. I'm, Don't swap I'm me with overloaded emails. with. I'm overloaded with with another work. Sorry for that. Okay. All right. So moving on here. Um, Someone wants to know, will the Earth go through an abortion period of no human life of 500 years 
only to live underground or in inner earth. What are your thoughts on that? Not in this reality. It happened in another reality. And that's probably where the planet overheated. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you were right. Okay. Yeah, so as long as we don't trash the planet, the answer is no. It's up to us, I suppose. Yes. <laughs> yes, right. you are right. Um, and uh, and just, just to comment, inner Earth... Inner Earth civilizations don't take mass amounts of humans in unless it's catastrophe-wide, so I don't think they'd be welcoming towards us going in into their living facilities and just being there, so unless something are, totally yeah. catastrophic. But there are many layers, because we are not living yeah. in Inner Earth, Outer Earth, or something like that. We are living in Onion Earth, so we can... Uh, be settled in, uh, uh, you know, like uh, any single layer of this also called onion, what we possibly can. It's no problem what we possibly choose voluntarily. It's not, from my point of view, absolutely no problem. Yeah, I agree with that, just not with the inner earth civilizations themselves. Like they're very welcoming right now of us. Yeah, they, they view us as uh, aggressors because we apparently because of our gen genetics, we've been manipulated so much, and plus we abuse each other. Um, all right. Uh, so this one, this next question is really something I may take a whole show because for starters, you weren't very specific. When you ask a general, broad question, it's going to take a long time to answer that. But, um. I'll just throw it out here, and Peter, you can decide if you want to answer it or if we could just save it another time. But can you talk more about the origins of humans and alien contribution of the races? Who created the human race and why? And were all races created by the same people? And does Source use ETs from other universe, universes to make beings here? So maybe we'll start off with who created the human race and why? What's your thoughts on that, Peter? Maybe you can answer that briefly. Very easy. Three types of call, three waves of colonists. There are three races like uh, black people, uh, negroate people, right? They were like uh, from 10 to 12 million uh, millions of years ago. They were created in the, this time frame. Uh, second one, uh, 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 yellow people, Asian race, right? Is like from five to uh, six millions of years ago, and uh, white European people from uh, one and quarter to one and a half millions of years ago. You know, created. Now nothing complicated. And they were like uh, aliens, aliens, uh, colonization aliens. So technically, we are products of many races, and we are like mm, their genetic experiment. Right. If so you wanna, if you want, if you wanna call it that way. So before humans were here, it was uh, it was basically dinosaurs covering the planet, a jungle, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And um, they were right. not so stupid. They were not so stupid as we as we as we think. <laughs> What what do you mean? Who, who's they? What, what are you referring to? Dinosaurs, for example, they were not so stupid as we are thinking. Oh, and were they all plant eaters, or were they carnivores? Plants? No, no, no. They were different type of 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 them, various type of them, you know. And they they lived uh, they they lived very civilized and socialized life. Oh. Were they? Did they have their own kind of Stone Age civilization? If you want to say that that way, yeah. Okay. And what killed the dinosaurs off? Briefly. Uh, the the you know like uh, huge explosions, sixty-five million years, millions of years ago. Oh, okay. Climate change. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was like uh, asteroid, you know, asteroid crash. Right. 
Okay, so let's move on here. Um, were all races created by the same people? And I, I guess um, so. These three different races: the, uh, the the black, white, and the what? The Asian. Um, yeah. So so they all originated from different parts of the galaxy, or or, or were they all originally one race? Yeah, 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 yeah. Different parts of of uh, not the galaxy of uh, of whole universe. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, so the answer black, is no. Black, they yellow, created. black, black, yellow, and white. Yes. So they weren't they were created not, by the same race. Not. Yes, they were mm -hmm. not. Yes. Okay. And does Source use ETs from other universes to make beans here? Maybe that yeah. could be parallel realities too. Yeah, that's true. That's it's part other of universes. Parallel reality agendas, if you want to say mm -hmm. that way. All right. Yeah. Um, so we'll just say the, the the talk more about the origins of humans and alien contributions of the race. I mean, the, the alien contribution of the race is that that that's a loaded question. You're gonna have to be more specific. But let's move on here. Um, so I I guess this next question has probably already been been answered. Did Patal see the Earth 500 million years ago? See did what? Yeah, that's right. Because he didn't say if a seed of humans, he just said seeded, seeded, yeah, seeded what? Rocks, plants, dinosaurs? Yeah, uh, yeah. You, you that's, need to that's, ask that's, that's, better questions here. Yeah, so, yeah. And I, I couldn't even guess. So let, let's move on here. What is the real meaning of the Garden of Eden story in Genesis? So was that uh, Eden, the Garden of Eden? Eden, it's Eden, Eden, it's, it's, uh, part of uh, some sort of ideal reality when everything went sm uh, went uh, uh, smooth and easy enough for example uh, as a nazi timeline i talked about that <laughs> oh so okay. many many people like many, many people many many people hate hate them out, hate hate me because of that you know because they think that I'm Nazi or something like that, but screw that. Yeah, you, like you're a I'm Nazi not. collaborator. Yeah, but I am not. I am just telling uh, uh, how is how is it working in their reality, and once their reality is working good, I don't have any problem to talk about that. Well, if you were to visit that Nazi reality, is it like really easy to get all caught up in the whole mindset? Like it, it's like. It, I mean, it's part since the it's ingrained in the culture. It's like uh, may, maybe like like we have patriotism here in, in in our timeline to our nations and our countries. So once you get over there, do you do you, um, do, do you I guess are you starting to suffer from Stockholm syndrome a little bit? You know, the longer you're there, is it easier to become ingress ingrained in that mindset? But I'm telling you, there's there is no need to have. You know, to be to be like like sad or something like that because there are there there is plenty of everything. You know, right? And has no 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 need. You has no need for nothing. What in everything the of Eden? is? Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. What I'm trying to say. I, you broke up a little bit. What? Could you repeat that? Yeah, that's the thing. What I'm, what I'm saying, okay. what I'm trying to say. And so, um, that was like considering maybe like like a, a continent, like Atlantis was. Uh, was this garden real, like a large area? Maybe it covered what? Maybe Saudi Arabia or Antarctica? Can you tell us where where it was located? Yeah, it is located. Uh, in out out the earth out of earth right oh, it's it is like located that. in hmm. it is located in in uh, astral world out of physical world oh. <laughs> not many people don't like that so the way you get there is you have to to leave your physical vessel behind is what you're suggesting mm, if you want to say if you want to say that way then yes you are right okay and is that what you would people would consider heaven in some religions Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yes, that's true. Absolutely, absolutely true. The only concern is, from my point of view, that many people don't don't like to do so. They don't want to think 
even think this way, you know? <laughs> right. Okay, so does that mean there was a snake in the Garden of Eden, Eden that gave a, um, I guess it would be an, an apple to Adam and then so on to Eve? It did, what, what about yeah, all that? Did but, that all but happen? Look at, but, look at, but look at the symbolic. Drac is, Dracos, Draconians, they are yeah. most evil race uh, in this crazy universe. You know that. So there is symbolic. <laughs> but is it, is it even fair to say a whole race is evil? Because, I mean, surely there must be some Dracos out there that are not evil. Uh, yeah, you are right. Yes. But, I mean, most of them are crazy, you know. Like 90% of them? Or is it a higher, higher percentage of Draco? Mm, no, like uh, 80, 70, 70, 70, 80 percent of them are crazy okay. for being in uh, for being in 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 power. Do you know what I mean? In power mode, it's crazy. You know. Okay. Um, and they right. like genetic Good. experimentation. Yeah, they love they, like they love to do so. Yeah, uh, that's true. Very if, 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 if you. If, if you had Adamic man on Earth in a simulated Garden of Eden, which there was, these guys were in there genetically manipulating humans. Okay, and that maybe that's what the, yeah, the term they, they, they we are, that. We are like gods. A, every single DNA. Yeah, that's the that's the stuff. It's like uh, Elena has, has total total truth. It's like uh, every single crazy DNA experimentation. They are involved. I bet you they are involved. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on here. Uh, what is the real story behind the giants Nephilim in the Bible? Are they real, Peter? These giants? Yeah. Why? They are. Okay. And uh, so, so where are they now? How come we haven't seen any of these giants? In another, in another reality. In another okay. reality. And how, how tall do these giants get? Oh, very tall. Like uh, uh, tens, maybe hundreds of feet. And um, uh, so... But, but that's the problem with determination, right? Because they can get as high as they want. That's a problem. Oh, okay. So that, that's otherwise, I mean, I, I can imagine it would almost be impossible for a hundred foot tall human to mate with a, a, one of the indigenous peoples. Um, yeah. So they would have to shrink themselves. Um, so yeah. so uh, do these giants actually create offspring, hybrid offspring with the, with, um, the indigenous on earth? Do they ever yeah. meet? Yeah. And are uh, um are these hybrids still alive today in different races of people? Their genetics have been passed down. Yes, but yes, but they are not uh, in presence on Earth. They are away. Oh, the hybrids. Yeah. Um, we can be happy about that. We can be happy about that because they are not good. And so the um, stories about the gods, say like the Greek gods, and um, and apparently they were immortal. Was that the, the related to these Nephilim? Like oh Zeus no, and, Nephilim. No. Nephilims are mm, mm, bad uh, branch, if you want to say it that way, branch of uh, 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 of uh, Anunnaki, right? It's whole different story, whole no, different I'm, kind of kind of a uh, 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 whole different kind of uh, aliens. No, Anunnakis are basically reptilians. Nope, they are not. Well, like, like they are hybrids, or what? What are they? They are they are blue ones. They look blue. And they are not. They are definitely not reptilians. Definitely not. Hmm. Also, okay. grayish silver skin in Anunnaki too. Yeah, you Have are you right. You are you are absolutely right, Elena. But they are not the reptilians. I am just telling you, James. Okay. Yeah. All right. I can concur. 
Um, Ilana, uh, not reptilians. Did, did you ever see one or meet one in person? Who? Yeah, Ilana. Uh, I did meet. I did meet an Anunnaki who was female. She had sil silver grayish skin, long pale silver white hair, had human characteristic features, um, and very very telepathic. It was very brief and it was very telepathic and. You know, they do have that ability for mind control. So it's like meeting a siren. At least with a grayish silver one. But that, but they are not, uh, they are not, uh, uh, what? Uh, they are not uh, reptili reptilians, aren't they? Not reptilian. This one looks humanoid. Like you yep. said, not reptilian at all. Humanoid type body. Uh, very tall, about 10 feet in height she was yeah you are absolutely right mm -hmm. this is this is the this is the this is the 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 type of um, appearance i can i can confirm that you are right yes from my personal experience yes and alana have you ever seen a nephilim because um, you, you I... apparently you saw elohim right Two, two, yes. because there are yes, two, like two that. basic types, two basic types, Elohim and Neph Nephilim, and you, you, you saw uh, Elohim. Yes. Did, did you saw, did you saw Nephilim or not? Nephilim, I would say I've seen in those Antarctic uh, genetic labs experiments with the Nephilim. There's huge skulls, like tall, they're so tall, the skeletons are huge. So I'd say they did experimentation on Nephilim in Antarctica. I would right. that's what I would make a guess at because I saw huge skulls in the um skulls and skeleton itself and the skull. Mm. They're huge. That's what I saw cool. in those genetic labs in and, Antarctica. And Peter, Peter, why do you think the Nephilim are so so bad? I mean it's simpler. It's because similar they are to... bad. They because because they are bad. Is it like they, the Anunnaki where they're trying they to are manipulate doing, people? D d d d them? This is it. This is it. This is it. They created the 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 uh, global elites. You know, they want a uh, NVO. Isn't this? Is it good? I don't think so. Right, and then certainly the Anunnaki's were were trying to manipulate different races, and they do it as a sport, not because they really need to. So, yeah, so they, because they they they, they, in, not, they are enjoying that. They are enjoying that. Yeah, that's true. And the Nephilim are uh, probably the same way. They're just enjoying. No, 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 no. Nephilims no. are only a branch uh, type of uh, uh, of uh, Anunnakis. There are two types: Elohims and Nephilims. Two types so, of Anunnakis. Is it, will and, the Elohims, Elohims be more benevolent? Elohims, Elohims are good one. And good ones and uh, uh, Nephilims are bad ones, right? And do they both look the same? If you were to meet an Elohim and a Nephilim in the same room? Nope, they will not look. Uh, they they don't look the same because uh, the 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 Nephilims look like how can I say that? Uh, darker. M more darker uh, uh, blue skin, you know, very similar to these. Uh, um, okay, help me, the this this famous movie, ah, uh, Avatar. Yeah, thank you, thank you. This famous movie, Avatar, James Cameron movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he basically showed uh, in the movie. He showed. Uh, uh, Nephilims, yes, yes, you are right. And he, Alana, he, in you, Avatar, he you, you you said you saw um, they wanted to shape shift you into that bean, with, you know, with the white stripes, and you're blue. Is that a, you think that was That's Nephilim? That's not. No, no, that was more like Pleiadian, light blue, blue skin, light blue skin, not dark blue. That was more Pleiadian. 
this is it this is it so he was uh, sorry my bad she was uh, she was uh, not uh, not uh, elohim but nephilim you know you, so you can be happy because uh, uh, nephilim can do crazy stuff to people yeah i uh, the, the the one that i saw she had um, grayish silver skin so I didn't see a Nephilim. And I wasn't transformed into a Nephilim. I was transformed into more like Pleiadian DNA because they do have pale white, pale blue skin. Like there's a difference in skin colors as well in the races. So I would not get genetically mixed up in anything with, with, with Nephilim or any type of genetic modification that would make me uh, act in a different way from what I am, really. Never agree to a genetic modification of my personality, per se. Okay, let's let's move on now, because um, we, we only have a, f a few more questions left, and it's um, been already almost an hour, at least an hour and a half. Um, so, so the question is, how were sons built? Peter, do you have any sons? information? Yeah. Sons? Well, what do you mean by that? By sons? Uh, they stars. mean stars? Yeah, that's okay. probably what they mean. Okay, okay, I got you. Uh, normally, because very first ones uh, created them. Very so, first ones are highly, highly, uh, uh, you know, self aware and intelligent astral beings. And they created everything what we possibly think of and what we possibly can uh, 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 can imagine, you know? So what, through telekinesis, they materialized it out of thin air? All these stars? Yeah, you are absolutely, you are absolutely right. You are absolutely right. Well, what about like the Big Bang Theory where apparently all matter started spreading apart? There was an explosion. Or is that, what was that the explosion? Or, or what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, but it was their will. It was their will to, to, to do so. They mixed a lot of different energies, like different energies, vibrational energies, different materials to make the Big Bang. So it wasn't just one material. They put in a lot of different energy frequencies. Yeah, yeah you are absolutely right, because uh, when, when you took it from physical way, it will, it will be impossible to do it only with one type of uh, matter and energy. It's bullshit. Yes, you are absolutely right. I like that. I, I like your kind of thinking, you know. <laughs> Finally, some, 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 somebody who is smart enough. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, uh, moving on here. Is there, I think everybody's satisfied with that answer. Um, what is on... What is back on the dark side of the moon or really should be what, what is on the dark side of the moon does anybody want to com comment about that um, maybe Alana you've probably been there or Peter maybe you've been there too I, yeah so what, what's what's on the dark yeah, side of the moon of the moon dark side, dark side of the moon there are a reptilian, reptilian bases basically dark fleet base as well with some mining operations but I mean reptilian bases, yeah. Yeah. And what about the human dark dark fleet base? There is one. There yeah, somewhere. you are right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you are right. A lot of mining, a lot of mining as well of the the good stuff. Yeah, but hidden hidden from the uh, from the public. Yeah. That's another. That's another. Uh, you know, like uh, part of story that it's hidden so if they were to send a satellite up there could they see a bunch of facilities on the ground lights like cities like we see on planet earth and at, at night through uh, yeah. photograph you can see it all lit up like, like just a massive complexes yes you are right you are right well i i certainly i i believe that um all right so um moving on here how were the grays made does anybody want to comment on this question, on how they were made, or, or maybe where they originated that from? Made? You mean like, uh, 
how they were created or something like that? Probably, yeah. Maybe they assume they were made in a cloning vat. I, I don't know. In that case, we might need to get a yeah, geneticist on here. Technically, 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 they were being created by uh, by uh, another races uh, as another part of their genetic experiments because uh, Nephilims, well, they are like part of a, a branch of, um, you know, type of uh, Anunnaki's. They love to eat genetic DNA genetic experimentations, and they made a lot of uh, I wanna call them that way gray uh, races, you know. So uh, if if this I don't know if this is satisfaction type uh, type of question enough. I don't know is is it or not. Right. Well, uh, whoever asked that question, if you want to be a little bit more specific, um, maybe, but I, I essentially you answered it, so uh, we're, we're, let's go ahead and move on here. Oh, go ahead, Ilana, you want to comment? Also, the Zeta Reticulis made some of the gray subspecies because they did experiments as well. So. And and, and and there are a lot more than just a just one type of gray. I mean, what, what is there? At least eleven? Did you say eleven subspecies? Oh, many subspecies. One hundred and ninety. Yeah, something like that. More than two hundred. I, I I'm just telling you that um, they love to experiments. Nephilims love to experiments. Yeah, so so basically, were all these different types of greys made by the Nephilim, or maybe there were other beings involved? I mean, they're... most of them, most of them, were made by uh, Nephilims, you know. Well, do those two races get along? Who? The greys and Nephilim, or or is there like an animosity between the two? No, groups? no, no, no. They they don't care. Greys don't care about that, you know. Okay, all right. Um, so, um, does anybody else want to comment about that, or should we move on? Because we have one more question here. Well, there's a lot of energetic manipulation of vibrational frequencies and in inter-time dimensional realities that grays go in and out of, and they can't necessarily maintain those capabilities for long because they're they're not the perfect species in creation <laughs> definitely not they are not yeah yeah you are absolutely right and as I said maybe maybe we can make a series of interviews you've got good finally somebody who had good intel you know <laughs> Yeah. Well, what about like these these tall greys? They they look like uh, what well, they claim to be the guardians, and they're here to protect. Ah, uh, you Earth. mean like this? You you uh, tall greys? You mean like this uh, ten feet greys or something like that? Eight to ten foot. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ten, ten, ten feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, they are guardians. If I don't know, if I can call them guardians, but if 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 we want so, then yes. Mm hmm. Have you ever met one they eater? Are. Of course, yeah. Many of them, not only one. <laughs> are they very benevolent and loving? Yeah. And, but with complicated logic and crazy sense of humor. Like they what? are they are they are telling jokes. They are laughing as, as crazy ch children, you know, and uh, you are like what the heck is going on here? <laughs> and they la love to la laugh about that, you know. Well, can 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 you give us uh, like a joke they would use that maybe maybe oh, is funny I, I, to them? I don't honest. have I don't and I don't, I don't have one. It's like oh I I, I have one. Okay, it is like uh, jet fighters wa walking on uh in desert. Uh. And desk and desk submarine. Oh, how? Uh, w what's going on? I don't know. I'm just passing by. <laughs> and they're like, okay, this is, this is fun. And they are, they are laughing. 
know? it's, it's crazy. <laughs> can they actually? I'm just can they actually by. talk, or do they use telepathy to communicate? They they are using telepathy, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. And and they're very good at helping to fix. Like if you've been traumatized by bad negative ETs, they're very good with helping you to get rid of the trauma in the in the brain. They're 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 good at fixing those you know holographic inserts of mind manipulation they're good at removing that yeah. to help people when we die i've heard others mentioning going home or going to source mainly just not going into the light as disney has taught us but what if we were actually to stay on earth to help in other dimensions what's your thoughts on that peter from my point of view we we are going to to shift into another dimension, dimensions, realities, and all kind of. Not going into not going into light light. It's 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 crazy. No, definitely not. Or go to the Garden of Eden. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess this person wants to know if they're going to stick around in somebody's house, maybe haunt haunt somebody. Oh no no no, that... no 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 not like not like that not like that. So so what are these hauntings when people see a ghost of maybe someone like okay it? What, okay what, it's what are like your poltergeist it's poltergeist it's something different than ghost. It's not a, a dead spirit that used to live in that that house or yeah died it's in not that property. spirit it's not spirit it's the ghost it's two different uh, two different stuff spirit ghost spirit ghost it's not the same. Well, what's the difference? Can you explain the difference between a spirit and a ghost? Okay. A spirit, respectively, the soul, the, is the same. It's your, your astral being. And uh, the ghost is uh, the, the cord, the tie between spirit and physical body. That's big difference. Okay. All right. Well, um, thank you, Peter, for sharing um, that with us, and thank you, Alana. Um, do do either Can you I two add something? have any final? Yeah, I was just gonna say. <laughs> Go ahead and add. Uh, about yeah, about the the light uh, going into the light. Sometimes that could be a light trap. Where yes. you're forced to reincarnate on Earth again, and you don't want to, so choose your own path where you want to go. Like, set, ask the, your own truth. Where do I want to go if I pass on in the universe? Choose your own destiny, not, oh, I should, there's this being telling me to go into the light. Um, and discern the reality. And you will you will live another shitty life. <laughs> so if you see Jesus, yeah. Muhammad, Muhammad or Buddha um, appear to you and say, "Oh, just go to the light," you're you're saying ignore that and go where you want to go. Definitely yes. So so what yeah. are these what are these Elena, holographic Elena, inserts? Elena, Elena has absolute truth. Absolute truth. As I said many times today. Finally, somebody with good intel, <laughs> you know. And what about people who get visions of hell when they die, like uh, through, um, you know, um, in other reality, death experiences? Just another, just another reality, you know. Yeah, or try to guilt trip you into like, oh yeah, you don't deserve to, to to pass on and and have a better reality. It's to distract you, basically. It's a distraction. It's it's well, trap. Well, how can I say that? It's it's another you know like uh, 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 reincarnation trap. I uh, think. Am I right, Elena? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. A guilt trip, basically. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Like like a life review. You know, see what went wrong in your life. See like, oh, do you wanna do you wanna go back and fix that? You don't have to. Yeah, that's true. But a lot of souls don't know this, and they just assume that whatever they're told is what it is, because they didn't investigate during their waking life when they were still on Earth. Exactly. In their vessel, physical vessel. 
Okay. Yeah, it's like learning. Learn your own truth. Don't don't get, you know. Sometimes it's a holographic insert, and sometimes it's a physical shift or being that's trying to try to walk you into that trap. So it could be both in the afterlife. Okay. Don't take it for their well, reality. You think it is. I certainly agree with that. So, um, it's, are, do, would, do either of you two have any final comments before we wrap this up? No, I'm okay. Yeah, I'm good too. All right, great. Well, um, thank you, um, Alana and Peter, and thank you, listeners, for listening in. And um, I just want to also encourage the listeners to drink the mint tea and the um, special. Well, um, I don't know what you call that food. The 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 clean food is out. I, I don't know what. Yeah, you clean mean. food, clean food. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and the recipes are in the description. Um, that will help you um, clear your. Oh wait, entities will rent your subconscious mind and help you out with some life issues. The wisdomers, more specifically. Yes. Um, yes. Also, uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel and visit SuperSoldierTalk.com to, to learn more information. I uh, know a lot of a lot of the posts that Ilana um, uh, posts is also shared on that website as well. And also visit Ilana's website, which is what Ilana? What what is your website? Messages from a Star Traveler, and my YouTube channel is Awaken Awakening Cosmic Reality Show. Great, great. Be sure to check that out, and also visit Peter's website at Peter Dash Insider dot com. Um, of course, that one isn't in English, but uh, Google Translate can take care of that. Um, and also, be sure to visit Neological Tech to support the work I do. And don't forget to ask any questions. We'll try to get back to them. We may not answer all the questions, but uh, we'll try to answer as m many as possible. And so, um, that's basically it. Um, so, thank you everybody for listening in. Until next time, bye-bye. Bye. Please consider supporting Super Soldier Talk by purchasing your own Neo Meditation device. Your Neo Meditation device will help you reduce stress, integrate trauma, enhance intuition, enhance clairvoyance, and enhance creativity. Get yours now at www.neologicaltech.com.